Hi Josh, pleasure speaking with you um, yesterday. I just want to show you how I do my research um, to in selecting Amazon products. Let me just move myself out of the way. Um, yeah, I see the products here that you sent me. So let me copy that and go back here. Where am I? I paste the ASIN here. And that looks like it's it. Twenty-six thousand. I actually um, check to make sure that how many I can sell with this ranking in toys and games. So I go to a site called junglescout.com slash estimator I put the rank here 26,000 select United States uh, category is in toys and games this will show me how many per month this sells 210 every month and uh, I want to see how many per day so divide 210 divide by 30 7 per day uh, and then I go to a site called the, this is the Amazon FBA calculator. I just Google it and um, put in the ASIN. Oops. Copy that. Paste the ASIN number. And there it is. And we can sell it for, click on this, 59 you said, there are 57 other sellers, let me click on this. We're only looking for new and prime, we only want prime of course. make sure Amazon is not selling it so cheapest price we can sell it uh, $66.94 um, I've learned that we can only raise it by two to three percent so 66.94 times one point let's do two and a half percent oh two five so I can only sell it for sixty five dollars 91 or 92 cents 61 point let's do 91 shipping cost we'll say 51 cents and I guess you guys are selling it for uh, let's see what if I buy well right now there's a sale 46.70 46.70 and this will tell me, calculate for me if there's any profit. There's actually no profit for this. If I sell it at $61.91 and I'm selling it for, I'm buying it for $46.70. I mean, I'm sure if I sell it for more, I'll make some profit. But since there are others that are selling this product, they're selling it for like, Sixty-six dollars ninety-four cents, and I can only sell it um, for you know between two and three percent. I can only sell it as high as uh, sixty-five dollars ninety-one cents. Um, now, of course, if these guys run out, um, you know I can increase the price. Like I'm only worried, even though there's all these sellers right here. There's ten, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 26 uh, other sellers selling this at new and at prime. I'm actually only worried about the sellers that are selling it between 2.5%, um, no more than 2.5%, which is $65.91. 
So I'm really um, so if it's being sold point oops one point oh two five sixty eight sixty one So I'll be competing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine other people. See if anyone's selling it between that price for no, everyone's more than sixty eight dollars. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll be number ten. So it sells for. I can sell it for sixty-eight, sixty-one. Let's recalculate this. Sixty-eight, sixty-one. So there's four dollars eighty-two cents profit. If I sell one. Let's say if I sell 10, there will be $48.20 profit. But since there will be, I'll be the 10th seller to 10, divide by, actually let's divide by 30 again to find out how many per day that I can sell. Seven, but since there's, I'll be the seller number 10. Divide by 10 sellers. Uh, this is how many I can, we can sell per day. Less than one unit. Um, it's not a, a great product. I mean, because there's too many other sellers selling this product. Um, so, you know, selling like less than one per day. I don't know if that's something I want to get into. Even though there is profit of $4.82. Of course, if these other guys run out. Like, but there's like nine other sellers selling it for like, um, sixty at least sixty eight dollars, you know. Um, but you know, I'm not the type that likes to wait for uh, a seller to run out, you know, because then you have the way to find out how many products they have. Um, I add this to cart, then I go to my cart. I change the quantity. Drop down the menu. Come on, come on. My computer is slow. Okay. I choose 10 plus and I put in 999 and I update. It'll tell me. It should tell me. Okay, this guy is smart. He has a limit of two per customer. So I'll delete that. Let's go back. I, I want to show you what I'm trying to do here. Try the second guy. That would be this one here. It's the 999 trick. I don't know if you know that. Let me go to my cart. You know, so it let me it shows me like how many units they have. still uploading I have a very slow computer okay click 10 plus type in 999 because it doesn't let you type in more than that like if you I try to type in 1000 it won't only three figures in here so 999 is the most that I can oh actually it says here they only have three left in stock order soon so I didn't even have to do that so let me delete that go back here Try the third guy, the third seller, which is this one here, at the cart. Click on my cart. He's got 15 left, okay. Let's 
delete that. Go back here. Try the fourth seller. That would be this guy here, Super Luna. Add to cart. View my cart. Click on quantity. 10 plus. Enter 999. Update. Oh, this guy only has six left. I didn't have to do that. Delete that. Try seller number five. One, two, three, four, five. Great deals retail at the cart. View my cart. He has 17 left. Let's delete that. Let's go back here. Seller number six. Two, three, four, five, six. Add to cart. Go to my cart. He has 10 left in stock. Order soon. Delete that from my cart. Let's go back. I think uh, we looked at him. Now we'll look at him. Product distributors at the cart. Now well, let me just close out some of these windows here. Close that. Close that. Just to speed up my computer. Oops. I didn't want to do that. Stop that, go to my cart. Only 10 left in stock. Let's go back. I think the next one is Kira and Ray's at the cart. View the cart. Oh, I think they only have okay. Three left in stock. Let's delete that. Also delete this. Ace is full is next. Look at my cart. Okay. Click on quantity, drop down menu quantity. 10 plus, type in 999, update. Okay, this is what I wanted to show you. The seller has only 54 of these left. So the 999 method works, you know, you can see how many items, you know, how many units of that product they have left. Um, a lot of times they have like, if there's less than 20, it'll just show you this um, seller has only like, 18 left or if they put a limit to how many you can see or a limit to how many you can purchase rather let's say you can only purchase three they put a limit to that then you can't see how many they actually have left how many units of that product they have left so that's how i check to see how many products you know each seller has left to sell um so we said that this product um selling it 59.98 well actually 
that's probably not yeah this guy is I don't think it's prime so sometimes you'll see let me refresh this screen probably see a different seller pop up uh, it's the same guy sold from galactic toys and games this is the buy box here as I'm sure you know and these are other sellers on Amazon 61 like most of the time you'll see prime sellers here that's what we want like very rarely do you see sellers that are not prime get the buy box but this guy got lucky he got the buy box but most of the time you see um, sellers that are selling prime and new of course I'm sure all of these are new like that's why I filter out new I only look at new and prime since I'll be selling it for new and prime we don't care about um, you know sellers that are selling it um, not prime so we said 66.94 times no more than two or three percent is how much more I can sell it for so uh, one point let's just do zero two and a half percent that gives me I can sell it for more than sixty eight dollars sixty one cents to to win the buy box the buy box being this box here so I can't sell it for more than this so I'll be competing with let's see one two three four five six seven eight so I'll be the ninth person let me make sure one two three four five six seven eight nine I'll be the tenth person we said this is rank 26,000 we said yeah or 31,000 actually because I refreshed it yeah did I refresh this yeah I refreshed it so this will fluctuate <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the best sellers rank <coughs> that definitely you know goes up and down as the day goes on uh, I'm only selling this in the United States and this is I believe toys and games toys and games um, hit calculate 180 because it the ranking went up so I can sell it for 6861 6861 shipping cost 51 cents and we're buying it from you for $46.70 is that correct 4670 yes and we said calculating it and do that four dollars eighty two cents is the profit and um, well, if we're selling one four dollars eighty two cents we're selling ten per month I'll make forty eight dollars and this since there's 10 other sellers 180 divided by 10 I can you can sell 18 per day but we said there are 10 other sellers divide that by by 10 1.8 okay I can sell um, maybe two per day of this product um, the only thing that worries me is the the sellers rank what if it goes up again and this number will go down therefore this number will go down to, to like maybe you know it each every day this rank fluctuates it can go up but you know it can also go down which is you know let's say it goes down to 21,000 how many per month will it sell 270 let's say it goes down to 11,000 even better it can sell 480 per month the lower this number the better the higher the worse it is like if it's, we said it's 31,000 only 180 per month and if you want to see how many per day just divide that by 30 days per month is that is that correct yeah 180 per month divide by 30 I think I forgot to divide by 30 six so six per day but we said there are 10 I'll be the 10 seller so actually only less than one per day so I'm not sure don't think this is a really great product 
Um, so we'll, we'll, we will skip this one. That was, um, I think that was... I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Which one did I do? <laughs> I think I did this one. 1580. Oh. Okay, let's try this one. Copy that. Item priced in Amazon. Okay, did that. <laughs> okay, let's try this one here. ASIN number. So this one I guess is a no. So let's try this one. Fifty two thousand is telling me there are five FBA sellers. This is a little um, uh, Chrome extension. I forget the name of it. I think it's I, I am, this one here. I think it's that one here. I have so many extensions up here. It's telling me it's ranked 52,000. Let me click on that. Open it in another tab. There are 27 total sellers. We're only concerned with sellers that are prime. In a buy box, someone that's prime won the buy box, and the other sellers. Oh, there's one that's prime, others, these two are not prime. So let's click on all of these guys here. Only worried about people that sell new and prime. So there'll be one, two, three. Two, three, four, five, seventeen, forty-seven, seventeen, forty-seven times um, one point zero oh two five. Because remember, we said can't really sell it for more than like two and a half percent, you know, to be able to win the buy box. So I can sell it for seventeen dollars ninety-one cents. What's the ASIN for that? There we go. 17, what did we say? 1791. Let's just, yeah, 1791. Shipping, let's say, 51 cents. And we are getting it for how much? nine dollars ninety cents okay nine point nine calculate there's a profit of one dollar fifty one cents now I'd like to see a profit of at least you know maybe like five or six the more the better of course um, so I'm probably not interested in this one I mean uh, profit of a dollar fifty one you know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Not really interested, to be honest with you. Now, if I see a profit of like ten dollars, nine, ten dollars, yeah, then I'll be interested. But if there's only like um, profit a dollar fifty one, uh, we could sell it for like nineteen. Let's say nineteen ninety nine. Calculate, I'll be like three dollars. Um, maybe, probably not. 
I don't know. Um, Cause there, you know, I won't be able to win the buy box if I'm selling it for that price. I can't go higher than seventeen ninety one, and um, I'll be competing with one, two. I'm just worried about these four, so I'll be number five. So the ranking here. Let's see the ranking. Uh, let's get the yeah, it's down here. And it's uh, kind of a high ranking, 52,000. How many can I sell? It'll be less than 180 since... Yeah, 52,000 US Toys and Games. Only 90 per day. Divide by 30 days. Three per day and competing with... Um, how many other people? One, two, three, four. So I'll be number five, divide by five, only 0.6 per day. I'll be selling less than one unit per day. And um, profit is only, um, well, we said how much? 17 something? No more than 17.91. So there was only a dollar 51 profit and I'll only be able to sell less than one per day. I'm probably not interested in this one either so yeah that's how I do my calculations and um, let's do one more this is ASIN number let's copy that let's go back here put the ASIN number here this is ranked 11,000 did we do this one yet there are six other FBA sellers it's got a decent ranking for toys and games now at 13,000 <laughs> it keeps fluctuating copy that it's 13,000 in the US I'm sure it's, it's toys and games yeah toys and games it says right here toys and games it'll also tell you right here toys and games how many sales per month 390 and per day 390 divide divide by 30 that would be what 13 per day how many other sellers would I be competing with that's not it what was that what was that even though it says 44 other sellers I'm only competing with a few such as the ones that are selling it new and the ones that are selling it prime. Yeah, my computer right now is very slow. It did not update yet. Extremely slow. Let's do this again. Go here, click on this. Let it finish uploading. Okay, click Prime. So, lowest price is twenty one point two two. Can't sell it for higher than two and a half percent. So that let's do one point oh two five. Can't sell it higher for twenty one dollars seventy five cents. I'll be competing with three other people. I'll be the fourth one here. So we said 390 per month, right? Divide by 30 days, that's 13. 13 per day divided by how many sellers? Four. One, two, three. Yeah, I'll be the fourth one. Divide by four equal to 
three of these units per day and let's get um the profit if there will be any profit oh. with this asin copy that Twenty-one, twenty-eight. We said we can sell it for. Let me just twenty-one, twenty-two, rather. Twenty-one point two two times one point oh two five is twenty-one seventy-five. We can sell it for twenty-one point seven five shipping. Let's say it's fifty-one cents. We can get it for. 1580 80 calculate profit there's no profit for this one so this is out close that close that so that's how I do my calculations on whether I should sell a product or not I mean it looks a little bit complicated but it really isn't you just need a few tools like um, go to Google to get this fulfillment by Amazon calculator. Just Google it. Um, it is uh, what did I type in? <laughs> uh, Amazon FBA calculator. Amazon. There it is. FBA calculator. It is should be this one. The first one. And you just put in either the product name, UPC, EAN, ISBN, or the ASIN number here. Um, let's do this one. I'm not sure what that will be. That's okay. You put how much I can sell it for. Uh, remember, we go to Amazon, see how many sellers there are. I'm only concerned with prime sellers and sellers that are selling it new. Um, and I can only sell it for 2.5% higher than what the lowest price is. Um, shipping I put like 51 cents from um, where you're at to Amazon's warehouse and the cost of how much is being sold for for EE distributor or distribution and that's how you calculate the the profit if there is any profit this is this column is if um, I'll be shipping it to Amazon and the other tool is this one here jungle estimator is free there are other, are other tools like I can't remember the other one that I used to use um and Google it see if I can find it FBA forget the name of it I'm sure I have it somewhere here in my bookmarks it might be this one yes yeah, this one FBA toolkit.com let it finish loading okay here's toys and games this will tell me the ranking let's say the ranking is 10,000 under toys and games this is only amazon.com is not UK or any other platform just you Amazon USA toys and games let's say it's ranked 10,000 this will tell me how many estimated sales per day for this ranking 11 average of 11 per day that's a 30 day average it'll tell you the last day how many it sold um so let's say in toysy games it's ranked 100 i'm sure it's going to be like a lot more 85 on average per day last day 65 on um, my eyesight it's not that good yeah that's a 65 so you know tomorrow it could be 95 you know or or um monday this could say 105 it's just an average of how many per day it's like a 30 day average per day um let's say it's ranked number one it's going to be a lot more more than 85 per day so you know the, the better the the rank lower the number the better the ranking like if it's ranked a hundred thousand in toys and games how many can i excuse me how many can i sell one every two days which you know not really interested um i think in toys and games i'm 
probably looking for a ranking of no higher than like I forget the number forty thousand. Um, yeah, forty thousand average is like um, I can sell two per day, and of course remember how many other prime sellers are there, um, and also selling it new. Um, so maybe you know forty thousand isn't a great ranking. Maybe no no higher than ten thousand, right? Or or fifteen thousand. There's a lot of factors that determine you know um, which ranking. Um, it's good like how many other sellers are there this sells on average 11 per day but if there's a, like um 10 other FBA sellers I'll only be able to sell you know one per day um, so if it's ranked 15,000 the ranking is um, uh, the estimated sales average per day is seven um, so this is another great website to look at um, just find this best sellers rank enter it here uh, it shows beauty and personal care. You got health and household, home and kitchen, grocery and gourmet food, kitchen dining. But since we are to mostly toys and games, you know, I figure I'd just show you that. There's other, um, you know, um, there's movies and TV, books, appliances, camera and photo. Yeah. Electronics, video games, cell phones and accessories, baby. Pet supplies, patio, lawn, and garden, office products, industrial, scientific, sports and outdoors, and so on. So these are the three tools. Or if you just have these two, that's fine. If you want to use this one, this is also good. This will only show you USA statistics. And um, yeah, I think this one also is for the USA, pretty much. And this one you can... Search for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't sell in every platform, just right now USA. I've sent some shipments to Canada and I tried sending one time to the UK, but it didn't really work out, so I just gave up on it. Um, so USA is where I'm only selling right now. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how I do my calculations on whether a product is good to sell or not and um yeah I actually ordered I did an order where's my camera okay here I am I did an order can I make this bigger no I I selected an order the other day let me go to eedistribution.com Where are my orders? Is it in my account? View your orders. Not sure if one here it is. Is this it? Pending review. Okay. Order number. Click on that. Okay, yeah, oh, I gotta, so when I go to, I already listed it in my Seller Central account. I haven't sold on Amazon in quite some time. As you can see here. <laughs> Manage inventory, I guess, or FBA inventory. This is the one that I was working on yesterday that I purchased.
continue to shipping I'm select case proc pack products and um, I would need to enter your address or EE distributions address here if I can get that uh, I appreciate it and I have to enter it here yes EE distribution maybe I can find it on the site If there's a contact page, contact us page, I can probably find it in there. That's not it. Okay, so where's the address? I guess this is the address here. And I bought 84. <clears throat> 12 per case. So 12 inside each box or case. And I bought 84. Divide by 12. 84 divided by 12. Seven boxes or cases. Say there was number of what units per case we said 12, 7, 84 units. because I select manufacturer's barcode. Choose that. Who preps merchant. Since I'm using the manufacturer's barcode, I selected merchant. I purchased 84. Continue. Label products, um, EE distribution, we'll do that. Click on continue. Review shipments. There's one queue, skew, seven cases. It is shipping to California. So I will approve this and continue. Shipment. 
small parcel delivery Amazon partner carrier choose that one everything in no, it's going to be multiple boxes use web form upload file skip box info apply manual processing fee um, so there's going to be seven box or cases two three four five six seven units we said 12 oops okay i will need to know box weight in uh, pounds box dimensions and in inches if you can send that to me i i'd appreciate it and um and i can finish this i also sent you a um let me go back to my seller central i invited you let's go to my user permissions i invited you this one is here um, you can um, I give you access partial access to my seller central account all you have to do is accept it I sent it here JP SU -E -E distribution and you will have partial access to my seller central account and um, yeah I, I would just need for you to send me um, the box weight in pounds and the dimension so I can enter that and confirm it and um, yeah and uh yeah hope you have a great day in california and i'll talk to you next time bye